how's it going over there in Pasay? Sean, the Pasay City LGU is not closing its doors to a possible citywide enhanced community quarantine amid the spike in cases and the detection of the South African variant. Mayor Emi Calixto Robiano said cases are being contained at the community level based on their observation. She clarified, though, that she's not against the placing Pasay under ECQ. She also urged the national government to intervene since Pasay is a major business and travel hub and the location of airports and various terminals. Public health expert Dr. Tony Leachon had earlier said Pasay must be placed under ECQ urgently. Pasay logged four cases of the South African or B1351 variant, although all of them have already recovered. Professor Guido David of the Okta research team called for a stricter implementation of health protocols. He also mentioned the possibility that the South African variant has already infiltrated nearby cities. Let's listen to Professor David and Mayor Robiano. What we do think is that um, although it's, they're doing it in Pasay, um, some of it has already escaped Pasay and uh, leaked, leaked over to some other LGUs uh, for example, the nearby barangays in Manila, Makati, and Taguig. Alam po ninyo, hindi po ako nag-o-object kung gagawing ECQ ang Pasay per se. But the other agencies and services must adjust accordingly. Sean, security remains tight here in Barangay 1A3 in Pasay City, which is currently under localized ECQ after recording 34 cases of, or, or after recording 34 active cases of the virus. Now, uh, the LGU is also looking to lift the lockdown in some 30 areas tomorrow. And to date, the Pasay City has recorded over 8K infections, in which 543 are considered active. Back to you. JC, one question. Um, are they genome sequencing these 43 samples from the COVID positive patients that are found there in Pasay? Sean Mayor Robiano said that uh, genome sequencing is still ongoing and results may be out in uh, 15 days. Sean. Thank you so much for that. That was News 5's JC Cosico reporting to us live from Pasay City.